Hi everybody, I'm Erin Anding and I'm here today to show you how to add an extension to your Google Chrome browsing experience, specifically one in particular called Clever. Okay, now there might be a reason for you to add uh, another one throughout the year, but Clever by far will take care of most of them. So at this point um, in this school year, probably every administrator, staff, and student should uh, add the Clever extension to their Google Chrome browsing experience. Okay, now what does that mean? Okay, up here in the corner, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in the Google Chrome browser. Okay, most of us are used to going to what I would call, you know, we all call jokingly the waffle. Now that is adding an app. Okay, an app is like the full fledged program, the learning management system, etc. It's the full thing. Okay, up here is something slightly different. These are extensions. Notice this little puzzle piece says extensions. Okay. Now to get to both of them, we have to go to one spot. So I need everybody to do this, okay? While you're watching me go to the Chrome Web Store, I typed it up here. There it is, Chrome Web Store. Notice extensions and apps, okay? So we're gonna add an extension today, which is a small program that adds new features to your browser. And that's exactly what we wanna do. We're gonna fundamentally slightly change our Google Chrome browsing experience, okay? I've done that with the following. Today I happen to be on my personal laptop. I might need to do this uh, depending uh, several times depending on what device or account I'm on. But on this device, I have already added Clever. Okay. And that's what I need you to do today as well. It also happens to be on um, my anything with the district. Now what is Clever? Why is it that I'm saying you only add one this year, you're going to add Clever? That's because Clever is the portal to almost everything else. Some of you are very much aware of it. You've been accessing either by finding it on the internet or through the district website, but it's faster if we add the extension, okay? Now, if you have been using Clever, it's time to use it because it's make, gonna make life much simpler and much more secure for a couple reasons. One, Clever provides a layer of data security, okay? Now we're all wanting to protect your personal data. One of the strategies EBR uses is Clever, so it's adding a layer of protection to your data. Okay. Number two, it's a single sign-on portal. Now, what does that mean? What that means is that instead of you having to remember a zillion spots to go, a zillion uh, websites, okay, um, and then remembering a zillion different usernames and passwords, the bulk of things have been added to Clever with single sign-on. So the district and Clever took your Google username and password for the district and they linked it to all these platforms through Clever, okay? So as long as I'm logged in, which I currently am logged in, there I am right there, the bulk of things I will go straight to, okay? And if I don't go to them, you know, but it's still there, that means probably one of two things. Either A, I don't have access to it through my school or through the district, or B, uh, that learning management system did not decide to sync up to single sign-on, but at least it's the correct version, okay, if it's there. Now, that's very important because a couple years ago, when we didn't have Clever and things like that, our school had Accelerated Reader. And at the time, the only way you could get to the one that had been set up for the East Baton Rouge Parish School System was to go to the district website. But many of my students and teachers would not do that. They would come here to their browser, they would type in Accelerated Reader, and then they'd get very upset because they couldn't log in. Well, the reason they couldn't log in was because for whatever reason at that point, the top two things that came up through the Google browsing experience out of all the different accelerated readers out there was a school district in St. Paul, Minnesota and a school district in Maine. Well, of course they couldn't get in. We live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Okay, they had to go to the right one. Clever will help you do that. Now, are there situations for various reasons where we don't use Clever? Yes. If that is the case, your teacher should make you very much aware of that. But if not, go through Clever. So remember, type in Chrome Web Store, go to it. Notice because I'm in my district account, they've actually added a little spot where they've put a lot of the apps and extensions um, already here. Like I said, some of these you might need to add for various reasons. Probably the bulk of them are living in Clever. Okay, now ironically, I looked this morning and I didn't see Clever right here. 
It might be here, it might not be, but I'm going to show you how to get to something in case it's not under EBR Schools, but you still need access. I'm going to come up here to search. I'm going to type Clever. You know you're looking at the right Clever when it looks like this logo, and it says allow students and staff to access apps in Clever Portal. Um, we already know mine is up there. So we're going to add it. It's already been added, and it says rate it. That's all I can do. Now, let's pretend that this was the Clever I was looking for. By the way, this is not the Clever I was looking for. This one has not been added to my Chrome browsing experience. And I have the potential to do that because it says Add to Chrome. If I were to hit that, which I'm not going to hit because it's not the right Clever, it would do one or two things. It would probably ask me if I really wanted to do this. And it might even say something like, are you sure you want to do this? It will fundamentally change your browsing experience. You need to accept that because that is the point of what we're trying to do. We are actually trying to change our Google Chrome browsing experience to make our life easier as we manage all these different things we need to use this year. Okay, so please try this out yourself. You'll probably get through just fine. If for any reason you have any questions, you can either watch this video again or you can contact me at emurray at ebrschools.org. That is E-M-U-R-R-A-Y. Please add the A. Okay. Thank you so much.